there is such incredible dedication from the people who work here. The round-the-clock marvel of modern medicine, the effort to save the life of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, whose brain was pierced by that bullet two days ago. Every moment incredibly delicate, filled with danger, but tonight it's also an effort marked by cautious optimism, as I learned from her doctors, Dr. Peter Ree and Dr. Michael Lamont, today. When the Congresswoman came in the door, did you think she'd make it? I knew. You knew she'd make it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I knew. Yeah. I mean, I knew in my How mind exactly. How did you know that? Because most of the people who get shot in the head don't come here. They're already dead. They die in the field. Of the people who come with a gunshot to the head, most of them can't follow commands. You know, when I hear someone's here shot in the head, can, they can follow commands, and I'm thinking, this is what we're here for, this is what we're but here for. But I was for. told that she wasn't speaking when she came She wasn't door. speaking, but I know she is thinking, okay? When you she, can see it yeah, when you talk she, to her. She, when you tell her to squeeze your hand, she squeezes your hand, let go, she lets go, she's thinking. They took us inside the exact trauma room where they first saw Congresswoman Giffords and began the race to save her life. They say the forensic team will decide the direction of the bullet, but they do know where she was hit and that it made all the difference. We don't know high. if it's for sure back to the front or front to the back. We're not we forensic. Don't. We, no, but, we can't But tell it was for sure. more high like this without going through this. Mm -hmm. It's the reason why she survived. But it traversed, you know, a lot of the brain. It did cover the brain. But it probably missed the very essential life-sustaining type of structures. That deep center is very, very important. So if we can avoid any trajectory through that area, critical. So tell me about the next few days. You've said we have another watchful 24 hours. What I really want to see is her wake up to the point and interact with us to the point that Dr. Rhea and I look at each other and say, time to get that breathing tube out. All day long, and they're quoting her mom, saying that she actually gave a peace victory sign. Not just two when you ask her, but the peace victory sign. <laughs> Well, that, that is when we say give us two fingers, that is what they do. That's so it can be interpreted as a peace sign. Either way, it's a good thing. Yeah. Either way, it's a, it's a kind <laughs> of victory. And I've seen a lot of these injuries. And like I said before, the full gamut from people who make very little recovery to there are some spectacular members of the media who have made incredible recoveries after tra traumatic brain injury. Bob Woodruff. There is no science, facts medical knowledge that proves that having a family around you while you're in that hospital in recovery and in that moment after you wake up uh, that it actually has a huge effect on, on, on you surviving and, and healing a lot faster but I really believe that it does. Do you ever use the word miracle? I do. I do. And I think she is a miracle just the way she presented to us. She's already beaten you know the other 999 first of all and then She's got an opportunity to heal and recover, and with good support and good care, she might come, uh, you know, roaring back.